Swan. Yeah. Tough day for the Panthers. Yeah, I mean they're obviously Missouri's. Uh, they're a good, good team, great team, and that's the difference between trying to be a good or a great team. Like you, you got to feel kind of when you have momentum in situations, and we we were in a lot of scraps um, with really good guys, but there were situations where we kind of backed off or they kind of came to us, and we got we got to stay on the offense, or you got to feel when you kind of switch things. And then we backed off in situations, so we got to go show them, and they've got to realize when they have those guys. And that's kind of what I talked about when when you're against a really good competitor, a great competitor. You can you can hit them once, and you might stagger them, but they'll stay on their feet, and they'll they'll and they'll, and they'll resurrect themselves. And we got to be able to not let guys resurrect themselves in situations. And we just we just weren't able to do it. I'll give them, I'll, I'll give hats off to them today. Um, they won one more position than us, and you know, in almost every single match, you know, they would they they won one more position, or they wrestled a little bit longer, whatever it was. Um, you know, a tough meet going into the conference, but those are the type of matches we're going to have. Those, I mean, you know, we had I think four matches where. where Two guys are in the top ten. That's a those are quarterfinal matches. I mean, those are those are matches that you're going to see at the national tournament, and we got to be able to feel certain things better. And, and and I say it every time, but then it comes down to belief. If you really believe when you step out there, if you if you with every fiber of your being that you can beat that guy, then you'll feel him when he's like that, and you will take advantage of it. A lot of those early matches, and your guys took it to him pretty good, but they had an answer for everything. Yeah, they they did. You know, they they, they scramble well. Um, you know, Jack was in a couple really good attacks, and he's almost, you know, he was going to almost bury the guy. I mean, he went and he looked to bury him, which, you know, you, lo you love a guy going there and ends up giving six points. Just got to get him bigger and stronger. You know, Elber, Elber's in on attack, but there's a difference between trying to get to an attack and hold and trying to score. And that guy, he's dangerous in every single position. And, and like I said, you felt a little momentum, but we can't just get to a leg and try to hold because he'll wrestle through there. You know, Max, we got to be back on that guy's legs. I mean, over and over again in situations. You know, Luhan, it's 9-7. We got two minutes and it looked like we backed off a little bit. And those are things where we have to smell that blood. And, and, and I don't know, be able to put the nail in the coffin, so to speak. We just weren't able to do it. And that's the only way we're going to become a great team, great competitors, is you have to be able to do that against the best guys, against top-ranked guys. We can do it. We can do it. A guy that maybe not ranked, ranked 15, ranked well. We want to, we got to be able to do it against a guy ranked number three in the country, number two in the country, number one in the country. And we had guys at points to do that, but they said they're, they're, they had an answer. And then when they have an answer, then we have to answer back. And that's that's not that we're just we we weren't there today. We haven't been there yet. Can you talk about this to your guys about this meeting? Can you talk about how small the gap is? Oh, abs absolutely, absolutely. But that's what happens when you get to when you get to when you're trying to get to this. I mean, we're trying to get to. I mean, this is this is where they're trying to go. They're trying to be a national champion. So, so the the window's really really small. It's tiny. So with the details that we talk about, those little things that discipline that make a difference, the little stance things that we talk about in practice, like we can show them like, hey, you know what we're talking about here? Because sometimes the guys kind of brush it off like, eh, that's not that big a deal. But it is a big deal because it just showed itself in the biggest situations. So, you know, it's, it's, it's great reminders for our guys. I know they'll use it the right way. Um, moving forward, but those are matches. I'm telling you, I know we're going to see we're going to see those guys in big time situations in Cleveland, and we have to have the answer. We have to have the answer, and I, I, so much comes down to believing before you step out there. You have to believe before you step out there. It can't be as the match goes, because that's why I don't think we feel it when we have a guy on the edge. And I mean, you can see the guys, and they're like, I mean, I mean, you can see the guys like look like they're ready to fall over, and like make them fall over, make them fall over. And we didn't do it. We backed off, and I'm not sure conditioning nerves. Whatever it is, they have to figure it out. We'll keep talking about it, but absolutely. I mean, we'll go watch the match. Go watch the match. Go see the situations. Look at where you had the guy. And then you backed off him. So the, a great competitor will not just fall over. They won't do it. And if we're going to make great competitors fall over, we have to be able to go again. We have to answer their answer and then answer it again. And we just we didn't do it today. They did a good job. So good hats off to Missouri. Thanks, Coach. Yep. What were you and Coach Smith talking about last uh, just date for next year. Nothing, nothing. Date for next year because just want to keep it probably around this time. It's a good, it's a good year end. You know, kind of when we were in the MAC, we were kind of talking. We're thinking we're a couple, we're a couple of the best teams in the conference, so that could that could a lot of times be in the MAC title, kind of like it did last year. Um, but just talking to him about that. So there uh, was a little, let's say, frustration with the official over there. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, the thing is, 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 okay, the guys are getting on, and you can see them pushing them forward every time. Like, 
like I can see how Dai does it once, but then when you're, when we're like, hey, he's pushing him forward. Hey, he's pushing him forward. Hey, he's pushing him forward. I mean, I think you have to be able to recognize that. And, and you know, there's a few times where I think he gave two early, but that didn't make a difference to me. That, that, those matches, those matches that that situations, I don't think it ended up, ended up really being the difference, but I want the call right, like everybody does. You know, I know this is a really tough atmosphere. Guys struggle in this building just because everyone's on top of you. Um, but it, I think both sides has frustration. I think it, it, every time with an official will have some frustration. You know, but when, when they were pushing, and, and I think I, I think Patton got cautioned, and the guy put his knee, like he, he worked it in behind him and pushed him forward, and then he cautioned us. Like, that's how can that be on us? And he's like, I'll watch it next time, and then the guy did it the next, you know, he, the next time he didn't do it because he knew he couldn't get away with it, but then even the heavyweight was doing it, which is smart on their part. Like, hey, if I can, if I can push him forward and I can get a deep waist, do it. <laughs> but they're not going to call it, but just those are little things and that, that referees have to be have to really be aware of in those situations, especially when they continue to do it over and over and over again. Like, I don't know how you don't recognize that. During Luan's match, was there any thought? I, I can't remember if he still had the challenge back then, but was there any thought of challenging the, the neutral near fall there? Yeah, but he, the thing with that is, like, he didn't say, I don't know if he said danger, if he's, because sometimes, I, I think, because that was, that's a question I even have to ask, like, do they have to say the danger? Because then a guy doesn't know that he's really in, you know what I mean? Because that guy, that's, that's part of, I can hear danger, so then I know I have three seconds. If you don't, if he doesn't call danger, can you even get more to? That's, that's something, I've, and I've, I've thought about it, but I need to ask if that's how that works. Because if you, if you can challenge, because the guy can say, well, I didn't even know that you didn't say anything, so how am I supposed to know to get back to, my, you know, get back to my belt or whatever. Um, there's a, there, was, there was a whole bunch of things that you'd like to challenge. Um, I, even, even the takedown of Patton, I don't think... I'm going to think, obviously, it wasn't a takedown, but sometimes guys make up their mind too soon. Like, they know they know before they even go over there that they're, they're not going to change it. And I think you have to be extremely open-minded. If you make a mistake, so what? The best referees, you know what, I'm, I made a mistake.